manager. What was the Scott? He was um, two one to Sheffield United. Right. It was good. It was. Uh, I thought Sheffield United contained them well. To say they're a semi-professional club, amateur. Um, I thought they did, they did a good job, they kept themselves in the game, do you know what I mean? Obviously until it was 2-0 and then they came back 2-1 and they were back in it again. Um, yeah, it, it was a contained game from Sheffield United. I think they kept in second gear and then I thought oh, they need to step it up and finish these off. They stepped it up, they went into third gear, got the second goal and then they eased off and, um, and they came back into it then. Yeah, so well, about probably 50 minutes from the end, something like that, and they were, it was it was back on again. Um, not bad for a, a, an amateur. I thought their best chance was um, about halfway through the first half, where they, I don't know how he missed it. They had, they could have made that two-two. I thought fundamentally. Yeah. What I mean, for, they got a corner right at the end, and that was their chance. The goalkeeper came up, nothing came of it. You know, it was head and Sheffield United got ahead of clear, and that was the end of the match. Um, I, I go along to these games because I want to see what Sheffield United's got behind the scenes, do you know what I mean, to come in. Because you can go and see the first team anytime. So I like to go. I do go to cup matches, actually. Um, I go to um, once here and now, do you know what I mean? I used to go when I was uh, a lot younger all the time. I've probably been to about five games. Um, and the, the draw will be made and we'll see who we get. We'll, we'll see who we get. Um, he, he put 11 new players in today. It was a totally, do you know, reserved second right. player. Um, I thought Freeman, he got man of the match. I, if I can talk about Freeman, because he was the only one I thought who stood out. Um, he seemed to be involved in the game a lot, do you know what I mean? Um, and I thought together as the whole team, if I could sum the whole team up, I thought they played well, neatly. I think he, should be in the, he could be in the first team? Um, as a backup, uh, coming, uh, those yeah, players yeah. that play today, they can back up any player who comes out. I don't think anybody particularly stood out today. Um, really, um, I thought it was a good controlled performance from Sheffield United throughout. But the thing that pleased me most was I thought Sheffield United, with those players there, they've not played together as a team, none of them. They're all coming in, um, and I thought together as a team, they, yeah, the manager. He, of course, he is Chris Wilde, he's, he's a genius, isn't he? He's a god. I mean, um, and he was obviously there today to see what he's got in his locker, so to speak. With Sheffield United, I, this is what I think, and I don't, I, I'm not using the word hope here, this is what I think. I think Sheffield United will finish in the top 10. I think they're a very good team. Um, they've come up, and it's proven the British players can play at the Premiership level. You don't have to spend 80 million on Luigi Graziano from Inter Milan. These players can go toe to toe, as Chris Wilder says, with these players, and they can show their team. Obviously, this team's there, they've got a lot more money. It's not just about money, it's about they've been established and they've got quality players. But I think for Sheffield United, we can compete, we can finish in the 10th. I don't like to say this, I don't much care for the cup because there's only going to be one team that's going to win it, do you know what I mean? And I think that's generally how I feel. I don't go for... T uh, if, you was, if you was a betting man, would you have put down a 2-1 um, win? I, I did put my bets, I've ripped them up. I had Sheffield United to win 3-0 at 5-1. I put a tenner on and, and two nil at five to one. It was the same. I put a tenner on. It, it, I would have got fifty quid if they wouldn't have equalised. So I was a bit disappointed. But that's that's it. It's more about Sheffield United than my fifty quid. All oh, right. Yeah. So. Um, uh, no, I'm all right with that. Normally, normally I go. Um, if I think Sheffield United is going to lose, I'd never put a Sheffield United to lose. I put one one nil nil. So that's my minimum bet. And then anything else, kind of two one two two nil. I mean, 3-0, okay. you're pushing it a bit. You do get 3-0. It's usually 2-0, 1-0 Sheffield United, 2-1, uh, that kind of bet. But I did put an unusual bet on this time. And I was in the bookies to bet on Sheffield United, William Hill. And they said, um, special bet. Uh, and we're talking about, this is the Liverpool game. And they say, oh, we've got a special bet for our punters. Um, Sheffield United get a lot of corners. And Liverpool don't get many corners, do you know what I mean? So put, put a tenner on them or whatever you want for Sheffield United to get more corners, so I did. I put a tenner on Sheffield United to get more corners than Liverpool. That was like, I think Sheffield United had an off day, and it's the only time Sheffield United has had a off day. 
for, for this whole premiership against Liverpool. Uh, Liverpool got eight corners and we got four, so I lost a bit. But but that's life. It was just a Sheffield game. And if they if they want to score today, that one goal from them, I would have got fifty quid. But that's football. It's life. All right. I, I had five to one. I had five to one. Uh, tenner on for Sheffield United to win 3 0 and 2 0, and it was 5 to 1 for okay. both. So you I had two you win, and some you lose them. But I've got a long term bet on this and for Sheffield United to stay up. I think it was, uh, I think it was like uh, 2 to 1. So I put 40 quid on that. So if that comes through, I'll get, you know, 80 quid, you know, double my money. 